over here okay perfect you're good sorry i just wanted to make sure everybody's muted and we are recording now okay perfect so anyway i was asked to speak about the importance of doing parties and so i just want to remind everyone that we are a home party business um our culture is so our the the ogs the people who truly did like those people who have the less than 100 so my consultant id number is number twelve thousand five hundred, and there are still many consultants who have less than 100 as their consultant ID number. And I just want to remind you guys all that they all built their businesses on home parties. I also, at number 12,500, built my business on parties. I didn't mean to say home parties, but on parties in general. So whatever party means to you, my kind of goal tonight is to get you to really think party. Now, I would love to encourage and hope that all of you would be willing to do a home party. If you've never done a home party, I promise you, it can be business changing. It can be so much fun. It's a way to get in front of a group of people and just make this look so much like so much fun. And it's a great way to inspire other people to want to do what you do. So again, we are a home party company. So, well, we were actually, I keep saying that we, we kind of are, a, a, we're a party company. We are a party plan business. Sorry. I'm having a hard time putting my words together. We're a party plan business, not a home party company, but if you've ever heard Orville Thompson, the owner of Sensi, who is right now away on there, he and his wife, Heidi are actually on a mission and they are the CEOs of Sensi, the owners of Sensi. And so Orville talks about the success of Sensi is to follow the four chords. And the number one chord is to do home parties. And so I'm only saying that because I feel like if you've never tried to do a party, no matter how old you are, whether you're 70 or 18, we would love to see you attempt at least one home party because they really are a lot of fun. It's a great way to get out of the house. It's a great way to, to be able to share the, the product, to share testers, to share the fragrance, to share just all, all about Scentsy. So, and I will say that it's, so for, I know that a lot of times we talk about, and I feel like I'm talking to an exclusive group. I'm talking to a group of people that you guys are all people who are really trying to build your businesses. And so it's a lot easier to hit that 2000 PRV, that um, the monthly sales award to get that award every month by doing four $500 parties or 500 PRV parties instead of trying to collect 2000 PRV points in orders. So if you can kind of break it down into four 500 PRV parties, whatever you define party as, and that's kind of my point here too, is that a party doesn't have to be a home party. It can be a lot of different things, but if you can break it down into four, you know, maybe one week, 500 PRV per week, it can make it a lot more attainable. You guys know that the best way to eat an elephant is one bite at a time, or the best way to, to conquer the 2000 PRV, that monthly sales award is one week at a time. So if you can kind of do it that way and say, you know what? For those of you who are our big heavy hitters, if you want to hit that 2000 PRV, try to go for that 500 each week. So one of the things that I do with parties, is, as you probably have figured as out by now, I did, figured I did build my business on home parties. Um, as I set my expectation with my hostesses that your party's $500. Like you, so I, I feel like when I say PRV in dollars, um, you know that region one, so in the United States, PRV is each dollar. So it makes it really easy. So I'm just going to speak in dollars from now on. So anybody who lives in the United States, you know that 500 PRV is $500. So if you set an expectation with your hostesses to have a $500 party, then it honestly makes it kind of easy. If you say to them that if you hit 200 dollars then you're going to get you're going to get some party benefits but if you set that expectation of a 500 dollars party then it's amazing how if you kind of give them a goal they will reach it so it's actually very very important so um the one of the most important things about doing parties whatever kind of party that you're going to do i'm sorry i feel like i'm all over the place because i 
I couldn't get on here and then my brain gets all messed up. But anyway, the, one of the most important things that I train my people to do is to make sure that people, when they're watching you, they have that I can do that moment. So when they're watching you, whether it's a home party or a basket party or an online party or a fundraiser or whatever it is that you're choosing to do, you want people to watch what you're doing and to think I could do that too. So the reason I'm saying that is if you, uh, you know, this business is all about sponsoring other people, inspiring other people to want to do this, changing other people's lives by having them join you and, and do this with you. So becoming a Sensi consultant also, because that will grow your business and grow their business as well. So sorry, my, I've got tons of messages coming in. Um, so what I mean by that is if, you're, if your display is super like complicated and there's tons of money invested into it, people aren't necessarily going to look at your party display and think, oh, I could be a Sensi consultant too. This would be super easy. So we want to really make sure that things are simple. The um, starter kit that we get, that $99 kit or $59 kit, whatever kit that you've gotten, is strategic to, strategically chosen to give you everything that you need at a party. So you can literally walk in. The goal is always for me to walk in with one bag, make it super simple, walk into the party and, and have your things. You're not sweating. It's not complicated. It's super easy. It's super duplicatable. Other people can do exactly what you do and they might want to give this a try too. So that's why I always say, make sure that it's super, super simple. Again, bring in what you can. I mean, bring in, just walk into the house one time, maybe two times at the absolute most. So sometimes I do have to make two trips, but usually I try to do it in one trip. Um, so remember that by keeping this very simple, for some reason, I always turn every talk that I do into sponsoring. So sorry, I, I'm supposed to be talking about parties, but I always like move on to sponsoring. And oh, sorry, here, I'm not even looking at the messages. Do you guys have any questions so far? I want to get a party for my products for Christmas and have to do a whole like theme. Awesome. Awesome. No, keep going. Okay. Thank you, Anna. So anyway, um, keep it super simple. So keep the, keep everything low cost. So again, when this is one, I think my personal belief that when a lot of people, when people are afraid of doing a home party or of doing any type of party, they're afraid of the cost. They're afraid of, I have to like clean my entire house. I have to have everything perfect. I have to serve a huge meal. I have to have all these drinks for everyone. Honestly, I tell people you need something salty, something sweet, and something simple to drink. You don't have to provide alcohol. You don't have to provide anything extravagant, just something salty, something sweet. Have some pretzels and some chocolates and, on, and m ms like a bowl of pretzels, a bowl of m ms You're seriously going to be totally fine. Like people will love that. People will come they will enjoy it and they will say, oh, I could do that too because I will book a party because this was so simple and that's the key. You want people at the party to know and understand that the party is super simple so that they will also want to give that a try. Um, so my Sensi suitcase parties, I love it. A suitcase, that's fantastic. So you walk in with your suitcase and one trip into the house, incentives and earnings. Oh, oh my gosh, seriously, that is, is it Donna? Donna, that is amazing. So she earned her suitcase, which uh, we know that we can earn Sensi luggage. And to walk in with that, what a brilliant, brilliant idea. So keep in mind that most people who do Sensi do it part-time. So that's another reason why you really truly want to keep any type of party that you do super, super sim simple. We never want you to spend a lot of money. As a matter of fact, Orville always says, you want to spend your Sensi money on your family. You never want to spend your family money on Sensi. So remember that. You want to spend your Sensi money on your family. Never, ever spend your family money on Sensi. So yes, it's okay to invest a little bit into your business, but I would suggest always that you make a little bit of money. I always tried to, when I was a brand new consultant, I tried to take 20% of my paycheck and put it back into my Sensi business. So that was great advice that was given to me. So when I say party, and I keep kind of struggling over this because I really did build my business on home parties, so I kind of struggle. And I, I understand that not everybody builds their business on home parties. But when I say party, I mean home party, obviously. I mean basket parties. Like basket parties are super cool too. Like you put 
all of your whatever it is that you can in one little basket. And I will tell you that I'll have in um, August, it'll be 15 years for me. One thing that I've really learned about basket parties is I like something that's open. So a basket party would be like an on the go party, basically just putting your testers catalogs, maybe a couple of samples into a bag to hand to a hostess. And then you're handing it off to her. It's all up to her to collect that $500 in sales. And I will say that over the years, I've had the bags that zipped up. So I always used an open bag. And then I would find that people would bring my testers back and there would be two or three missing because they would dump over in their car. And then there would be three testers under their seats. And two years later, they would call me and say, I'm so sorry, I just found two testers in my car. So I was like, okay, I can solve that. I can zip it up and hand it to the hostess. But I will tell you that over the years, I have found that if it zips and you hand it to a hostess, and you encourage her to put it on her desk, say at work, she works somewhere or at a in the break room or whatever. If it's zipped up, people won't often open it. And if it if, even if they unzip it and it's still, you know a tiny little opening, they might not get into it. So I am all about a great big open. I actually go to Hobby Lobby and I get um, sewing those like sewing baskets, I guess you would call them. They have a couple of compartments, but they're wide open. And you know what? If a couple of testers fall out, it's totally fine. Honestly, all you need is a, is 10 or so testers for a party anyway, so it does not matter. So I like to have my basket parties wide open. Fundraisers. So I'll go on to a couple of different parties. So fundraisers are definitely some of my absolute favorites because it's a great way to get your name out there and collect sales and give back to your community. And then I will often, when I, so when I deliver a fundraiser, I'll often give them a little coupon and I'll offer them if they will book a party with me. And again, a party could be a home party, basket party, another fundraiser, whatever party means to them, then I might give, I might offer to give five or 10% back to the organization that they booked from. So Whatever it takes for you to continue to get more business, it definitely like just keep doing everything you can to try to get more business. Um, so that was fundraisers on the go. So an on the go party is basically a basket party or whatever. Like there's so many different ways to do it. If you guys go on YouTube, I actually have a YouTube channel. I have a video on exactly how I personally do a home party. That's why I'm not going to go over it completely. So if you want to know exactly how I do a home party, go on YouTube. If you want to know exactly how I do a basket party, I think you just would search on YouTube, Jen Audette basket party, Jen Audette home party, Jen Audette fundraiser. They're all there. So that'll show you exactly a hundred percent how exactly how I do it. I can't wait to learn more about fundraisers. You know what? Fundraisers are so cool, Tammy. Like you can do a fundraiser anyway. And that's what's the beauty of it is you can do a home party and call it a fundraiser. You can do an event call it a fundraiser. You can do a basket party, call it a fundraiser. Basically all it is, is you donating your commission back to the organization. And when I say organization, I've done fundraisers for a single person up to hundreds and hundreds of people. So it, I, when I am like, oh my gosh, I don't have anything booked for next month. I'm a little bit in a bind. The two things I always go to are fundraisers and my borrow bags. So I have another video out there called, if you look, look up Jen Audette, J-E-N-A-U-D-E-T-T-E. -E -T -T -E. I just recently made a video on how I do my borrow bags, but honestly, it's just, I take a clear bag and I put, and I get them on Amazon, super inexpensive. I put just a couple of samples of whatever I might have, like counter clean, maybe a laundry detergent, maybe a, honestly, again, you're not going to spend your family money on Scentsy, you're going to spend your Scentsy money on your family. So whatever you might have, some all-purpose cleaner, anything that you have extra of, put that in a bag. And I always try to give a full-size warmer. So maybe it's the warmer that came in your kit. When your warmer that came in your kit sits in your house, it's not doing you any good. I know it makes your house smell good, but your goal is to make a little bit of extra money so that you can start to get more product for your own home. But in the beginning, don't keep that to yourself send it out, spread the love, have people borrow it, like have people try it. So I put that full-size warmer. If you have a full-size warmer, that's my preference. If you don't have a full-size warmer, then I would go with the nightlight, but I put that in my borrow bag with maybe one or two little squares of wax. I will often say, would you prefer to have a, um, a fruity scent, a clean scent, or a clean scent? So I give them the choice of the three, they choose, and then I'll give them two little squares of, honestly, for like 
if they choose clean, I'll typically do like by the sea or um, like, you know, like any of those like sea salt avocado, maybe, um, no, actually that one is, is that one even available right now? Oh my gosh, I just had a total mind blank. But by the sea has been a really good one. Clothesline has kind of been a good one. Um, fruity, always black raspberry vanilla because it's one of our favorites that have been here since the very beginning. And bakery is always baked apple pie. Um, oh, Bricks and Club. Yes, yes. Bricks and Club are great. I have a friend that won't join yet, but offered her a party link. Perfect for the warehouse sale tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Seriously, the warehouse sale. That's going to be amazing. Um, so, and I get distracted very easily. You do. You love your fundraisers, Josh. I love it. Um, buddy Drive. Oh, yes. So any, honestly, any kind of fundraiser, because if nothing else, you feel really good about the fact that you got to give back to your community in some way. So another thing that I was just going to mention is Rachel, I learned that we just did a retreat together with Rachel and Anna, and they, Rachel used the term unlock rewards. So I loved that you can use with your hostesses, whether again, it's a home party, a basket party, a fundraiser, a borrow bag, whatever it is that you're doing, you say, you're going to collect enough orders to unlock your rewards. So your re rewards will be unlocked at 200, but I want you to get to 500 because that's when you get the most bang for your buck. You're going to earn the most free stuff. So um, what else? Let's talk about bookings. So when you do a party, no matter what kind of party it is, the most important thing is that you have got to think about how am I going to get bookings from that party? So like I said, you can go watch the videos. You can search on YouTube on how to do each of the individual parties. But the most important thing at those parties is how are you going to get bookings? So a home party, there are so many different ways to get bookings. But for those of you who that are willing to go out and do a home party, let me tell you some of the ways that I get bookings. Actually, if you do an online party, you could use these as well. So my card game. So now every time I travel, I buy a deck of playing cards of just like, you know, like cards that you would play go fish or whatever with. And now I take like 10 from each stack. So over the years, it has changed. So when I first joined Sensi, I used a pack of breast cancer cards. And then as I started to go, I had earned a couple of trips. So then I started to buy cards from different trips that I took. So I had like a, a stack of Disney cards, a stack of cards from Mexico, wherever little trips that were that I had gone. Now I've been so fortunate over the years that I've gotten to travel to different countries. So now my card game, I play it with cards from different countries. And I mean, seriously, like, I'm just a girl from Maine. I was a dental hygienist when I started Sensi, sat in an operatory cleaning people's teeth. And now I get to play like a card game with decks of cards from all of the different countries that I've been to, which are many, many countries. And seriously, I still pinch myself because I can't even believe this is real life. This is my dream job. I am so incredibly, incredibly lucky. Um, but anyway, this is how you play the card game. So again, whether it's in person, you can actually do this at events too. You could probably figure out a way to do it or online parties. I have my deck of cards. I don't give a big presentation, especially now it seems like a lot of people are familiar with Sensi. And I say, okay, all I want is for you guys to ask me questions about um, anything you wanna know about Sensi, whether it's the light bulbs, what size light bulb, whether you wanna know what my favorite scents are. Maybe you wanna know what my favorite trip is I've ever been on. Maybe you wanna know that I was a dental hygienist and now I don't have to sit in an operatory all day. Maybe, so I will kind of lead them into questions and then I will give them a card. So as they earn cards, they'll get a number and I just do poke, poke, the poker style. So they add up their cards at the end. But then when they've all added up their cards, I will say at the very end, okay, anybody who's willing to book a party right now, I will give you four cards. So that's kind of another booking strategy for me. So that's why that's the main reason why I play the, the card game. So we kind of go through, they ask cards, they ask questions, I give them cards, they earn points. And then at the end, like I said, they if they book a party, they get four cards. And multiple times I've had people say, Well, what if I'm interested in joining? I'll say, then you can have six or eight cards. Honestly, the rules are yours. You can do whatever you want. So that's one way that I get lots of bookings. Another way is I'll take like a full size warmer box and I'll take a mini warmer box or a nightlight box and I'll put them next to each other. And I'll say, anybody who's willing to book a party, you can put your door prize slip or we call them lottery tickets. So basically a door prize slip is name, address, phone number. How interested would you be in having hosting your own party? I always do zero through 10 instead of yes, no, maybe. So I make up my own zero through 10. Zero means I have absolute no interest ever. I never, ever want to host a party. One means 
maybe I will at some point. 10 means I want to have a party tomorrow. So I give them that. And then the second question is, how interested would you be in information on joining? So those are my door prize slips or lottery tickets. If, they're, if they are willing to do a party, they put it in the big box. If they just want to enter the drawing and they didn't, they don't have no other obligation, they put it in the mini warmer box. And I usually have two little prizes that I sit by the boxes. So the big, obviously, if they're going to book a party, I'll do like whatever you can afford. Again, remember, we're not going to spend our, spend our family money on Sensi. So whatever it is that you can afford, maybe what you can afford is you're a really incredible baker. So you make the best pumpkin chocolate chip cookies ever. So that could be your prize. It doesn't even have to be Scentsy products if that's not in your budget. But then in the mini warmer, it can be something super simple, something from the dollar store, maybe a little pack of note cards, whatever you can afford, maybe a scent circle. So whatever it is that you can afford, those are kind of my two prizes. So that's the second booking game. The third booking game that I've been playing for years and years and years is wearing around your neck. And I know Wendy has recently um, shown this. I don't know if you guys had her on or not, but put on, um, I just do curling ribbon and I'll do either three scent circles or you could do a scent circle, a car bar and you know, whatever, three little things that you can hang from your neck. And you say the first person gets the, their pick of whatever's around my neck. When you book a party, you get one and up to three parties. And I personally always give the hostess, I give her, you know, I say, if you can get three people to book, then I'll give you this special prize, whatever the prize is, whatever you can afford. Maybe it's a couple of bars of wax. Maybe it's, again, whatever you can afford. So it's just another booking strategy. So we have the door prize, we have the necklaces, we have the card game. Like you can do, like by the end of my parties, somebody's gonna book because there are all these different opportunities. There's another, I have a, on my YouTube, I used to always play deal or no deal. And if you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see exactly how I play that game. So it just depends on the crowd. How many parties have I done for them? If, they've, if I've already done the card game four times for a group of people, I'll pull out my deal or no deal game. So what, are, sorry, I'm so super dry. So we traveled last week, as you guys probably know. So I'm still like super dehydrated. Okay. So another thing that I've done recently with parties, whether it's a home party, an online party, a basket party, whatever it is, I've really gotten into Google Forms, which I'm kind of proud of myself because I am a dinosaur and I'm not really into like all the technology stuff, but I will say that I love Google Forms because if they check out that way, my biggest thing is, like I said earlier, I want them to tell me how interested they would be in hosting a party, zero to 10. How interested would they be in learning more information about becoming a Sensi consultant, zero through 10. So that is the most important thing that I ask them because I want to know from every person, how much interest do they have? If they choose one, they go on my list and I will completely follow up with them. So, okay. I don't know if I like even covered what you guys wanted to hear from me, or if you guys have any questions for me, I feel like I've already done my, I just looked at the clock. It's already 930. So um, every time. Yeah. Okay, so how are, like, what questions do you guys have? Have I missed anything? Mm, I'm looking back at the comments. Top seller from each fragrance family, that family, that's a great idea. Bricks, yes, Bricks, that's great. So I don't know, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I know I was a little bit all over the place. Because the topic parties can be like, you can go so many different directions. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go with whatever my heart says to go with tonight. The card game, somebody wrote the card game is genius. Honestly, if you're ever nervous, if you want to go to a home party and you're super scared to walk into that house and do a home party, that deck of cards is literally your security blanket because you don't have to know anything. All you have to do is ask questions. And another thing that I always did was if people would ask me things and I don't know the answer, I would say, you get two cards because I don't know the answer. And I would write it down and I'd say, but thank you for helping me because I'm going to learn and I'll figure that answer out in my next party. I'll know what the answer is. So just never feel like you have to know everything. So one um, of the questions came through, how long are your online parties? So, oh, my online parties are super fast. And that's another thing I actually, that's another thing that I meant to kind of talk about. When I do an online party, this is my background. And I am so like proud of all the people who have these beautiful extravagant backgrounds with all of this amazing product and 
you know, it, like their displays are incredible. But I will tell you that if you want people to watch what you do and wish that they or want them to have that feeling that maybe they could do it too, because I will tell you guys right now in 2023, there's never been a better time to build your team. You, there's never been a better time to inspire people because the side gig, the looking to make do something to make extra money, there's me, never been a better time to do that. So when things are complicated in your background, when things look very expensive in your background, then people aren't necessarily going to want to, or feel like, I shouldn't say want to, they aren't gonna feel like they can do what you do. So it is very important to me that everything is super simple for me. I have a bucket, like a little bucket that's like that big. And if it doesn't fit in that book, bucket for my parties, then it doesn't, I don't even use it. So how long do my parties last? So I still play bingo most of the time. If I do an online party, it's mostly bingo, with which I learned from Rachel. And I just do three rounds of bingo, super, super simple. They have a blast. I give out three prizes. I don't tell them what the prizes are because that would be out of compliance. And I just say, you're going to win something really fun. And honestly, I personally base it on how many people are there, how big the party is. If it's a thousand dollar party, the prizes are going to be a little bit bigger than they are if it's a $200 party, right? So I just base it on, because I'm not going to spend my family money on Sensi. So how long are my parties? I keep them really quick and really simple because I want them to book and I want them to know that their friends aren't going to kind of, gonna, they aren't going to have to hang out for an hour and a half. So I would say like 20 to 30 minutes is how long. That was a really long answer to how long my parties are. Send <laughs> um, circles around your neck. Yeah. And even doing an online party. But here's the thing. If you guys can get these testers under noses, your parties are going to be double, triple the success. If you're in a place in your life where you can actually go into a home and share or a lunch party, like I did so many lunch parties for the first many years of my business where I would just show up on their lunch hour. So banks, banks were a really big one, um, spas, hair salons, any of them. I would show up, bring my little bucket of my testers. Again, I've always been a huge advocate for making it super simple. So if I can't carry it in in one, in one trip, then I typically don't do it. So I keep it really simple. And you know what the thing is, is if even if you do 18 trips into the house, they're always gonna see the one warmer that you didn't bring in, right? Isn't that the, isn't that the truth? So it doesn't even matter how much you bring in, just keep it super simple, be very duplicatable. And we are holding a huge blessing that we can offer to other people. Like so many people are struggling right now. Our economy is not doing the best and we have an opportunity for them where they can make, make extra money, but we need to make it simple. And we need to make sure that they understand they, they don't have to have stock in their homes. They don't, like, it doesn't have to be complicated at all. You can have an extremely successful Sensi business and not invest anything except for your $99 or your $59 or whatever it is that whichever kit that you get that's really really important right now that we share this opportunity and make sure they realize how simple it is Need an open house um yes that's fantastic. A lot of people will do. Um, I, 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 I can't even get it out of my mouth. So at our retreat, I was sharing that one of my good friends, Heather Gorsuch, if you guys have ever heard of her, she's a superstar director. And when her business was kind of, she was struggling a little bit, she went out and she had a coupon and I think it was $99. And I want to say she had a coupon for 50% off. So she bought a margarita maker and she decided that she was going to call them margarita parties. So, and she had so many people book parties that she had to start turning people away. So she had to get creative and whether you add alcohol or not, it doesn't matter, but she would show up at your house with her margarita maker and do a Scentsy party. And everybody wanted to book one for a while. So it's really all about getting creative. I love the um, creativity with the deck of cards. I never thought about that. Like as we're traveling, I'm always wondering what is something sentimental that I can take back and cards. And then you can actually gift them. You can use them for parties. And I also want to share with those who haven't been able to experience the world yet. You can still buy those cards. You can still buy Disney cards. You can still buy cards from Germany or Europe or whatever. Um, when COVID hit, um, and we had to kind of get creative with our businesses. My online parties were destination parties. 
And it was, we couldn't even leave our house technically. And so our, my parties consisted of wherever the host wanted to go. So if they wanted to go to Hawaii or if they wanted to go to Spain, then Google's our friend. And so we can actually bring, uh, you know, our um, hosts and their guests to wherever we want them to go. So I love that um, for home parties and the cards. And you guys can order from Amazon, you guys. You don't have to go to Spain to get that. <laughs> Yet. Exactly. That's amazing. And that is, and I probably should have pointed that out. So when I'm playing the game and I pull up a card and it has Africa on the back, I'll say like, again, pinch me right now. Like, just so you know, as I hand this card to Sally, it says Africa on the back. And I just want you guys to know that since he paid for me to go to Africa, like, isn't that incredible? So I will kind of throw that in. And if you have, here's the thing, if you've never been on a Sensi trip and you have an organization that is close to your heart, buy a deck of cards that talks about that organization. So again, maybe breast cancer, or maybe like if you, I can't even think of an organization right now, but you can buy any kind of deck of cards that means something to you. And you use that deck of cards as you're playing, maybe a couple of different decks and mixing them together. And I will say it's been so fun over the years that I always buy the cards when I leave the country and I just take the 10 cards and I add it to my pile and I mix them up really well. So however you want to do it. But like I said, it's a really great safety blanket because you don't have to stand up there and bore them with your presentation. You can just answer their questions. I love that. Yes. About getting them chattering about joining. Exactly. And it honestly, the fact that you have cards from Spain and Germany, like Teresa just said, like people are like, what? You went to Spain? You went to Germany? Like, it's pretty incredible. Like we kind of joke around that our sensi our Sensi businesses are like a, a secret travel club because we get to do all kinds of fun things. Hey, Jen, can you yes. reiterate what the cards are for, what, what you're doing with them when they compile all the cards? Yes. So I will take, so um, if, whether it's one deck of cards or multiple decks of cards and I put them together. So I'll stand in front of, in front of the crowd, whether it's online or I like, I prefer to do it at a home party and I'll say, okay, I could stand up here. This is literally what I say. I could stand up here and tell you all about Sensi products. But to be honest, I have a feeling that you guys probably know almost as much as I do about the products. But in case you have questions, I'm going to play a little game with you. So you can ask me anything you want about the products. You might want to ask me about, um, well, what did I do before Sensi? Maybe did I get to retire from my job to do Sensi? You might ask me about what kind of trips I've taken. You might ask me anything about the opportunity with Sensi. Or you can ask me anything about different scents or any of our products. And we're going to play a game and I'm going to hand out cards. So at, at the end of the game, the person who has the most points is going to get a prize. I might have left that part out earlier. Sorry. So then they just start answering. And then the first person to ask a question, I always give two cards. And I'd say, thank you for being brave and asking the first question. You automatically get two cards. And then what's really fun about the game is you're always going to have two or three people who are battling at the end, who want to be the winner and they want to win the prize. And so it's, it's just fun because they'll keep asking questions and then other people are listening. Another thing, by the way, is when we're playing the card game, I never have the testers out. They don't have anything except me to look at. So I don't pass anything out until we finish the card game. Once that game is done, then I pass out all the things. And then at the very end, when somebody thinks that they're the winner because nobody has a question, I'll say, okay, wait, before you add up all your points, Anybody who will be interested in booking a party, and by the way, you're going to help our host, Sylvia, earn free, she's going to earn a half price item at your party for each and every one of you that book, plus you're going to get four cards right now. So I'll usually have one or two that'll say, okay, I'll take four more cards, I'll book a party from you. Yes, yes, thank you, Anna, for asking that. So I definitely never, ever, ever at any party, I never, everything is always under the table until after my card game. They don't get anything so that they're not distracted. They're paying attention to me. I love that. One of the games that I love to play at the end is to bring in, and this, if you're somebody who's been using Sensi for a while and you don't have cards and you don't have money to spend on that right now, um, one of the games I love to play is to have the host it. And I could say, you know, if you had a $500 party, these are the things that you could use your rewards on. And then give them a warmer and three bars. That's one half off item and another warmer and three bars. And that's another half off item and a laundry love bundle. And these things could all be empty. So if you have like an empty tub of washer with and an empty uh, laundry liquid bottle, hold on to these things because 
by the time you get to the $75 of free credit, like mm-hmm. they're dropping all the stuff. And it's a really good visual for those people who are like, dang, I ought to be hosting right now. So it's more stuff to carry in, but it doesn't really cost you anything if the things are empty and uh, it makes an impact. Yeah, absolutely. Another thing is you mentioned if you don't have the money, here's the thing. You can go to the dollar store and buy a deck of Disney cards and just say, did you know since he's partnered with Disney? So we're just going to have fun with this deck of cards from Disney because we are literally the official fragrance company of Disney. And so you can kind of do that. And if you happen to know, as you pull out a card, if you pull out a stitch card and say, did you know we had a buddy and a warmer. And so if, if you know a little bit about the Disney stuff, so honestly, keep it super simple. If you can't find a deck of Disney cards, just get any deck of cards. It can just be a plain old, what is it called? Pinnacle, pinnacle, something like that. Deck of cards. Yeah. And you can even take, honestly, take a picture of your family or whatever and like glue it to, or put the, um, what's that? Mod Podge on the back of the cards. You can get so creative. I am not a creative person, but you could put, if you have children or grandchildren or pets or whatever it is that you, I mean, we usually, all of us kind of have a reason why we start Scentsy. Like, what is it? Take a, a cheap, a, d- a deck of 50 cent cards, take a pictures of whatever, something that means something to you, mod podge them onto the back. And as you hand out those cards, say, I'm doing this so that I can have the opportunity someday to watch my children get on and off the school bus. Or I'm doing this because I love pugs and I want to help rescue pugs. Like whatever your goal is, whatever your dream is, like you can do anything. You can get so creative, but it's like I said, that game is just kind of like a little security blanket because you don't have to know anything. You can just answer questions and you'll start to learn as you do more parties that, okay, a lot of people want to know the answer to this. So I'm going to have to look that up so that helps you to know what to do. I love that because also with the Disney cards, hasn't since he taken families to Disney three times now, or has it been more than that? Yeah, it's been it's been an incentive trip at least three times. It's been three times, I believe. Yeah, yeah, pretty incredible. Awesome. Hey Jen. Yes. Um, I had a question. Like when you go online and do your parties, and like say a party online, and they don't know the sense. Uh, because they don't have them in front of them how hard would that be when you just have the ability to just do online instead of home because some at the moment when you're in the beginning sometimes we don't have that opportunity so when you have the only opportunity of only online at the moment um, how do you get your uh, audience to engage in them if they don't have the sense in front of them so the first thing that I would personally do is I would give the hostess a basket party I would put uh, my testers I would give them to my hostess and I would say try to get these under as many noses as you can before we do the party so that they already have an idea so they can make a little bit of a wish list so that's number one number two as your budget might expand a little bit if you have a little bit of extra money um, if you can get some of the scratch and sniff stickers at the Scentsy Family Store and just whatever you can get your hands on like a piece of paper one stamp Mail what you can. I like to mail a showcase brochure and I print off the combine and save page and I add that to that. So that would be much less expensive and do some scratch and sniff stickers. And then as my budget has gotten a little bit bigger, I can now I'm adding a little bit of samples. So I'll do sample packets. Again, you do not need to do sample packets. You have to, you know, stay within your budget as well in the beginning and then try to work up. Like I've always said, try to invest 20% of your paycheck paycheck back into your business, but don't do more than that. Because again, you don't want to get, you don't ever want to lose money on your sensi business on working your business. So if you have zero budget, just giving the testers to your hostess and having her make sure that she really takes the time over the next, however many days that she has, Get those under everybody's noses so they can make their wish list. So then they come to the party and they already know what scents they like. That is really great information. Thank you. That helped a lot. You're welcome. Yeah, and I'll piggyback on what um, Jen mentioned. We were listening to a training um, last night from Lisa Roberry, and she mentioned that she uses, she recycles her whiff boxes and she calls them PO boxes. I don't know what the O stands for, but I'm sure P is for party. And so she puts just, um, you know, a couple catalogs, some order forms, uh, just a few scent testers in there, and she sends them to the hostess. Um, 
that's what she does. And then what Jen just mentioned were these stickers that you can find in the uh, consultant store. I just received a pack in and, you know, these are a huge hit because the smelling does the selling. However, to your point, if you just don't have, you know, the finances to send out a, a PO box or you don't have the finances um, to um, order these stickers, you know, you really don't need it. I do online parties very often. I'm doing one right now and I haven't sent a thing out. But one thing I do is um, there's a group called Make Sense. And whenever there's a new catalog shift, there's some very sweet person that creates like a scent menu. And Sensi has done such an amazing job with being even more descriptive of the scents that we have. And so what I do is I just post in the beginning, here's our fragrance menu. So they can actually read it. They can use their imagination and really believe that blueberry cheesecake smells just like blueberry cheesecake. But um, my almost all my online parties qualify. So I just want to let you know that there's so many things that you can do that cost a little bit. And then you can absolutely post the fragrance menu that doesn't cost a dime and you can still get plenty of orders like I do. Very good question. So I think that we've answered a lot of the questions here. I'm just going to browse one last time here in the chat. Um, but um, yeah, this is going to be available as a replay, but I do wanna thank Jen so much for her time. We are so blessed. I tell Jen this all the time. I look up to her. Um, when I think about Jen Audette, I also think about Deanie Morehouse and I have so much respect for both of these OG leaders because you know they've been in the business for, as Jen mentioned, like 15 years. And really right now they've established themselves. Um, so much to where if they wanted to, they could probably coast if they wanted to. But I have so much respect because I've gone to retreats with Jen and I've seen her booking parties and I've seen her, oh my gosh, I've got to close this out, you know, before we do X, Y, and Z. And so she's not just talking the talk and telling us what she did 10 years ago. This is what she's still doing today. She's still very much passionate about it today as she was 15 years ago. So um, we are so blessed to have her on here tonight and to have all these tips. I hope that everyone wrote down some notes here. Um, so what we want to do whenever we have these meetups every single week, we want to have a, what we call a call to action. So I don't want everyone to leave just inspired by Jen. I want you to be motivated to do something in your business differently this month. Now we're already a third of the way into the month. And so we are going to challenge everyone to book two parties this month. That's really not a lot. So we're being very generous there, but because we're 10 days in, we, we're encouraged each of you um, on your little you know, sheets that we have for the May is to book two parties. And since he has provided us with so many tools, um, so many deals. Clearance looks amazing. And then, gosh, you guys, tomorrow we have a warehouse clearance event. In eight years, I don't think we've ever had a warehouse clearance event, have we, Jen? <laughs> so I love the creativity of um, what Sensi is providing to us. And here's the deal. Um, as you're marketing and you're sharing this clearance event and you're getting your customers um, reeled into it, every Customer that says, oh my gosh, I, you know, I'm excited about it. They like your post. Make sure that you reach out to them and you provide them with their own shopping link. Okay. Because basically what you're doing is you're going to have maybe 20 parties out there. You have between now and when the clearance event warehouse event starts tomorrow to get all these shopping links dispersed to your customers. Because basically what you're going to let them know is they're going to get 80% off. They're in turn going to share this link as um, Anna mentioned, you know, with their and then on top of that savings, they're going to be able to unlock even more rewards. So it's kind of like double dipping, um, double couponing, I guess that's what it's called. Um, so we want to encourage everyone to make sure tonight's topic was is perfectly lined up with the sale that we're ha we have going on tomorrow. So guess what? That could be one of your bookings, um, you know, by uh, getting out those shopping links, or it could be 20 bookings. You get to make that decision. Now, for those that did not make the call tonight, remember the only requirement that we have with the summer hangout program is that you do have to you do have to participate in these trainings because otherwise you're not going to grow, right? Um, but for those that aren't on, and you all should have an accountability partner. So look around, look around the room. 
If you do not see your accountability partner, I want you to knock on their virtual door and say, hey, we missed you tonight. Um, I need you and you need me. So um, make sure you catch the replay, okay? Uh, what they're going to do is they're going to share with their either Anna, myself, or Rachel, the code word, the code word, are you guys listening? It's going to be elephant. I think Jen mentioned the elephant in the room earlier. So the key word is going to be elephant. Um, so that way we can make sure that um, those that um, are maybe working can watch the replay and then give us that keyword and they can remain part of this summer pro program. Um, I think I caught everything. Now we are going to share the link to Nadette's um, YouTube channel, because before I ever met her in person, I was following her YouTube. And when I met her in person, I was sitting right in front of her and Anna Hughes. And I was just like, oh my God, I cannot believe I'm at this table with my YouTube friends. But we're going to share that link because there's so much valuable information there that we couldn't fit all into tonight. Um, yeah. And so I think that covers everything. We've got the call to action. We, we got the YouTube. Um, and I love that Google Doc, um, Jen. I don't if you might be able to share that with one of us, Rachel, and we can kind of recreate it so that way everyone's not filling out your Google Doc, but I never thought about that. And so maybe we can, you know, um, recreate that template and put it out there in this group. But I love the zero to 10 poll for uh, potential new consultants um, and party hosts. And I would even add club now. So yes. But anyway, everyone, um, please thank Jen for her time tonight. We are so thankful. We are so blessed. And we, we really have to get back to parties. The past couple of years, we did not have to party. All we had to do was post a product and people came swarming in. We're not in that hyper growth state any anymore, but we are in a state where people are purchasing. People want to buy. People want to party. People want to get together in homes. They want to get together virtually. So it's up to us co to connect the people, right? So um, we do, we do want to leave you all with that challenge to book two parties. So if you are up for the challenge, please let's blow up the chat before we end and put a number two, and that means you are committing to yourself that you're gonna book at least two parties. And, and um, yeah, you're gonna book at least two parties this month because we wanna see you grow. And we wanna see each and every one of you that are sitting in on this call have at least 1000 PRV or more. Yay, so I see Carissa is committing. We have so many commitments here. We should see eight commitments. So if you guys are smiling at us, put drop a number two. Oh my God, Gabrielle said she has 10 booked from the retreat. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Sean Griffin, two. Heather has 10 booked. Anna, oh, everyone's reacting to it. I'm like, how do y'all all have 10 parties booked, but you're reacting to it? Okay. I was like, someone's not being truthful. <laughs> okay. Um, so <laughs> congratulations to you guys. We're going to celebrate now and um, we'll be back next week at the same time. We have a ready to go um and um make sure you mute yourselves <laughs> next next week i know we had some challenge in the beginning but thank you guys for your patience with that so all right we're going to go ahead and land this plane jen thank you so much we love you and we really appreciate you um all that you've done for us tonight but even over the past 15 years thanks for paving the way for the rest of us and our families Thank you. And by the way, just so you know, my Google form, I'm sure I copied it, copied it from Rachel, maybe Anna, like <laughs> do not create anything. I just, here's the thing you go on YouTube, you, you, if, if you see something cool, I go on YouTube and I say, how do I create a Google order form? And it shows me exactly how to do it. So I'm happy to share it, but I can guarantee you, I did not create it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so thank worries. you guys so much for having me. I really oh, appreciate thank you, Jen. We appreciate you. Good night, everyone.